Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a makeup for Olaf from the Disney movie Frozen. He is a snowman in the movie and he's absolutely hilarious and seeing as no one else has done a makeup for Olaf and I think I can do a pretty good job, I'm going to do it so let's get on with the makeup. Okay so the first step in this is covering my eyebrows because I've got a paint on my eyebrows up here for Olaf and I'm going to be using this, it's spirit gum but you can also use like a glue stick pen or something but this is all I have so hopefully it comes out because yeah my eyebrows, I do need them. <laughs> so I'm just going to comb them and try and get them relatively flat. Oh god. Oh Jesus Mary and Joseph. You can skip this step if you want to but in order to like have the makeup looking better, you need to like really cover your brows really. You could just put paint over them but I'm doing it this way because it's going to look better in the end so yeah. Oh god it's drying. Please don't rip out my eyebrows when I wash you off. <laughs> oh it feels stiff. I feel like I've had a facelift. Okay, now that that's done, I've got to go in there and put some of this nose and scar wax on to make, like, smoothing it out even more and make it like skin, basically. So, oh, this is going to be fun to get off later on. Again, you can skip this step and just paint it over. Like I said earlier, you don't have to do this because trust me, this is... <laughs> this isn't pleasant! <laughs> I literally feel like I'm getting a face job done here. It's like, I don't even know if I can smile anymore, let's see. Oh, okay, that feels well weird. <laughs> I must say though that if you do want an actual best result, then I would recommend doing this because that way, once the makeup is completed, you will look better for it. I don't even know if you can tell like the difference here with this eyebrow compared to this one, but um, it's a lot smoother. <laughs> oh, I bet I'm looking really beautiful right about now. God, imagine going outside like this and people be like, what the hell has he got? going on with his eyebrows and okay Alice hurts oh god my face feels so stiff oh my god I feel like I just got out of like a real bad surgery operation <laughs> do I look it what do you think selfie moment oh, okay corking now the eyebrows are done I'm going to go in there with some cream white face paint and start putting it on my eyebrows first of all give it a good thick coating um for this I'm going to be using my beauty blender. I've chosen to use cream face paint this time but you can use any face paint you want as long as like it's good face paint and has a good coverage because you are going to be needing it because you're meant to look like a snowman. Just blend it all over those bushy eyebrows. By the way guys if you like have um makeup brushes that you do this with I really do recommend you get one of these a beauty blender they are amazing they do such a good job at blending your makeup and stuff. Wow I look I look scary. Yeah, I'm scared right now myself. Boo! Okay, now that my face is done and my eyebrows are covered, it's time to do my actual eyes for Olaf. I'm going to like leave my eyebrows like this, but you can like, well, I recommend that if you're doing it on yourself, then like really take the time, go over them and like make sure they don't show. But I'm not going to be doing that for, for this tutorial because it takes a lot of time and I've already given these like at least 10 like coats of paint now and this is the result so I'm going to stop there. Okay and for the next thing which is the eyes I'm going to be using a black face paint for this and this very thin narrow brush. The lines are not too thick around his eyes so you want to go in there and use something relatively thin. 